Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today this video is about Microsoft's Windows 11 Insider Preview Build, 23481, which is released to the dev channel. Starting with this build, Microsoft is releasing ISOs for this build. Moving forward, and talking about what's new in this build. Firstly we have improvements for Windows Inc. Windows Inc. is being modernized to allow users to enable inking directly onto edit fields. In addition, Microsoft is improving the accuracy of the recognition technology and a scratch-out gesture for when users need to make edits. The goal of Windows Inc. is to let users use their pen and handwrite anywhere they can type on their Windows devices. Currently, these new Windows Inc. improvements support English, US, only but stay tuned for broader language support. Next to that, we have folder options changes in File Explorer. Microsoft is removing a handful of old settings under Folder Options in File Explorer, as part of an effort to clean up the number of settings for File Explorer. Many of these are legacy settings that have been around for ages and are not being regularly used by people on Windows 11. The settings are, Hide Folder Merge Conflict. Always Show Icons, Never Thumbnails. Display File Icon on Thumbnails. Display File Type Information on Folder Tips. Hide Protected OS Files. Show Drive Letters. Show pop-up description for folder and desktop items. Show encrypted or compressed NTFS files in color. Use sharing wizard. Next to that, we have new focus session widget. Microsoft is beginning to roll out a new focus session widget as part of a clock app update, version 11.2305.6.0 and higher, via the Microsoft Store to Windows Insiders in the Canary and Dev channels. With this new widget, you will be able to quickly start and stop focus sessions on your device. So, that was all about the new things introduced to this build. Moving forward and talking about the changes and improvements made in this build, for taskbar and system tray, never combine mode, which enables you to see each window of your applications on the taskbar individually, and which began rolling out with build 23466, is now available to all Windows insiders in the dev channel. Also, starting with this build, chat is now pinned by default to the taskbar and can be unpinned like other apps on the taskbar. For File Explorer, the ability to tear out and merge tabs in File Explorer, which began rolling out with build 23471, is now available to all Windows insiders in the dev channel. For voice access, the new text authoring experiences in voice access that began rolling out with build 23466 are now available to all Windows insiders in the dev channel. So, these were the changes and improvements made in this build. Moving forward, and talking about the fixes for this build, for dev drive, fixed an issue where filters beyond AV might be attached to your dev drive on reboot. Also, fixed an issue which could cause a bug check when using dev drive. For file explorer, fixed an issue where the icons in the file explorer context menu could be blurry. Fixed an issue where sync status icons for files backing up to a storage provider were not reliably displayed. Fixed an issue for authentication errors on File Explorer Home where the please sign in button appeared but clicking on it did not pop up the authentication dialog. Updated show files from office.com text and folder options to include account-based insights, recent, favorite, and recommended files. Using Ctrl plus V to paste an image in gallery will now paste the image into your default pictures folder. The default folder can be configured under collection, manage collection in gallery. If you hover your mouse over the Details button in File Explorer, the tooltip should no longer block the Close button for the window. Also, fix the following issues for insiders with the modernized address bar in File Explorer. Fix the direction of the search icon within the tab when doing a search in File Explorer. Fixed an issue where tabbing or shift plus tabbing from the command bar wouldn't land focus inside the current folder. Fixed an issue where if you set focus into the address bar, to edit the path, you wouldn't be able to use the tab to move focus out of it. If the current path is longer than the available space in the address bar, a bit of room now has been added so you can still click and go into edit mode. Lastly, fix the following issues for insiders who have the modernized File Explorer Home. Fixed an issue where hovering over folders in the quick access section of Home was causing the name to disappear and the icon to slide to the side if you had checkboxes enabled. Dragging and dropping into the favorites or quick access section should work again now. Lastly, for the search on the taskbar, fixed an issue where navigating the search flyout on the taskbar with the keyboard arrow keys did not work as expected. So that was all from Microsoft for this build. If you want to know more, follow the link to the official Microsoft blog from the description. Hope it was useful consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.